Tedaroa McMillan is the best wide receiver in college football, period. And the people that tell you he isn't are wrong. If you watch Tedaroa McMillan, you watch Luther, uh, Luther Bolden, obviously both really, really good wide receivers. But Tedaroa McMillan is bigger. He looks more like an NFL type player, and he is the best wide receiver in school history. Now, when he came here, the one thing you noticed about him immediately was his, his hands, or as they like to say, his catch radius, which is absolutely fantastic. I was always a little skeptical that he would pass Dennis Northcutt. I was wrong. I am an idiot. Last year was absolutely fantastic. You show He showed that he is the best wide receiver in school history. And assuming that he's fully healthy, you're looking at a guy that's probably going to go for 1,500 yards, 14 or 15 touchdowns. He has got a great chemistry, obviously, with Noah Fafita, and I look for that to continue. A lot of people say, well, what are you going to do about Jacob Cowing not being on the other side of the uh, football? Well, Malachi Riley, I think, is going to be more than okay. As a matter of fact, I think Malachi Riley is going to be a big-time addition for the U of A in that he's going to play more, and I think he's going to go for eight, 900 yards. And as good as Jacob Cowing was, I don't think that uh, you're going to miss much with Malachi Riley. Montana Lamonius Craig in there will obviously be able to take some off as well. But this is going to be a massive year for T-Mac. I think T-Mac is in a position to leave here as one of the handful of best players in school history. I also think that he's a player that is has a very real possibility of going in the top 10. You know, in the NFL, on offense, the, the quarterback, offensive tackle, and wide receivers are the ones that make the difference. Tedaroa McMillan is that dude. He's gotten better each year. Again, I know he's dealing with the foot, but he's expected to be fine. And I think Lewis Riddick put it really well when he, he was just amazed by watching T-Mac. And what T-Mac was also able to do is he was also able to get more explosion. And that's something that he needed. And he did that. I look for him, again, to have a massive year. He's the best wide receiver in college football. There's not many times that Arizona's been able to say that they have the best of something. And they also have a quarterback that is going to be able to get him the ball. This will be T-Mac's last year in Tucson. So enjoy him while you can, because this is truly a special talent that de doesn't really hit Tucson very often. <laughs> 